on. Oh, oh, okay. So you can add more later. So that's good. So you got alcohol and because that is a eating disorder where you actually purge and deliberately make yourself uh, sick and vomit to add alcohol and cocaine. Ooh. The day, like Wednesday. 2023. Hello folks. And in this video, we'll be looking at the I Am Sober app. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video and I'll be back. So we're going to have a look at the I Am Sober app, which is something to do with a with a self-harm and actually in particular self-harm tracker rather. So it's not an encouragement to self-harm, it's actually to um, sort of track what you were doing and also track what you were doing when you started self-harming. So, and different activities and how you felt and, and stressful and that. So I did have a look at a self-harm tracker app and it had areas where you could put in information where, you know, how you felt, where you stressed and what were, where you stressed rather, and what were your triggers and that. So, um, when is that? So I do believe that this I Am Sober app is actually something to do with, you know, something like that because I typed in self-harm app apps or into Google Play and the self-harm tracker and the I Am Sober app came up. So you've just taken a big step on your path to sobriety get started addictions what are you getting sober from oh, oh okay so you can add more later so that's good so you got alcohol and edible. alcohol and cocaine Ooh. Oh my goodness, that is pretty serious stuff. Binging and purging. So I don't know what binging and purging is. Boo. So booze is actually the same as alcohol in my opinion, so I don't know why we have booze and alcohol, so I think that does need to be changed. Bourbon. And you've also got cigarettes there as well. And you've got cocaine. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit too graphic in my opinion.
I think some of these things, in my opinion, and please don't take this the wrong way, folks, but I think some of these things are a little bit silly, in my opinion. Some of the things, not all of them, but some of the things. I think, like, the online shopping one, actually, is a little bit uh, silly to a degree. And you've got tobacco and you've got cigarettes. So I do think that these things need to be rearranged and a bit more organized into into something because you've got tequila and then you've got alcohol, then you've got booze, and that is the same thing more or less. And you have also got cigarettes and tobacco so those are the same thing or more or less vaping THC that's a good one because some people do vape video games yes good one vodka and whiskey so again that is more alcohol isn't it so wine wine is that Xanax. And nicotine as well. Meat and dairy. I mean, I think that's a little bit too far, isn't it? And that masturbation is too graphic, in my opinion. That needs to be somewhere else, I'm afraid. That should be eating disorders actually, the purging, because that is a eating disorder where you actually purge and deliberately make yourself uh, sick and vomit to be anorexic because to some people anorexic, anorexia is actually a lifestyle. Unfortunately, people do uh, turn the anorexia eating disorder into a lifestyle uh, via the means of pro ana websites that actually talk about anorexia in a positive way as opposed to a negative way which is what it should be should be seen as a negative way so um yeah Anyway, I clicked on self-harm, going back to the app, and, oh, okay. Okay, so start tracking on a future date. So when was your sober start date? 27... I'm not too sure what the date is today, actually. But the 27th of February seems a bit far to me, actually. And I'm trying to swipe to choose another date, and it's not doing it. Oh, okay. Let's click on February. I do like the fact that it comes up with um, the day, like Wednesday. 2023. I'm not too sure where this next button is. For some reason. Alright. Oh, there was a OK button. All right. Start tracking. Okay, so you've got future day and that. I'm gonna go back. Next. Okay, I want to stay sober from self harm because. 
Okay. So this can be something more powerful than that. Um. All right then. Let's put test. Oh, okay. Can you see yourself reaching this milestone? Why wouldn't you after learning all that? <laughs> Trying to find any buttons that will... Oh yes, I can do it. Oh, okay, you need to swipe up to reveal it. And actually, I think that is a little bit silly, the fact that you have to swipe up to reach that yes button. Oh, daily pledge, 800, daily review, 2000. Let's click that. Yes, we are good. Oh, so sober plus subscribers. Oh, ten pound forty three. Oh, goodness me. Let's click on that X. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So you got these tabs at the bottom. Savings. Settings. So this is pretty good, actually. Uh, Uh, oh, streaks. Okay, I'm being self harm free for our oh, progress. Okay, so we've got a progress icon. So this probably is. Uh, what to do what I was saying earlier in this video where it tells you how you're doing and that let's have a look at the motivations oh wow two things you control they ask you an effort okay oh sorry Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good, though. And I do like um, the motivation section. Oh, wow, you can share it. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. Oh, right, then. Let's conclude this video. So, <clears throat> in conclusion, the I Am Sober app is actually a is actually pretty good in my opinion. But there are some things that need to be changed. First of all, I think the the getting started screen needs to be organised a little bit. Because where you have the alcohol and that, you also have alcoholic drinks as well, like beer, booze and wine and tequila and that. So again, I think that needs to be, you know, all in one group. So when you click on the alcohol, you then see the beer 
or your Ven C, D, Wine and Tequila. I also think that the masturbation thing is too graphic in my opinion and I think that I don't think it should be put uh, in the app and I think there are other apps or other things that should be able to help with that sort of thing as opposed to putting it in a in a app like this. Also I do think that the options in this app, some of them and actually a few a few of them uh, to be exact are a little bit silly like the online shopping thing and I think there were all uh, meat and dairy and that again I think there should be some other apps or other things that should be um, able to help with that sort of thing and I think there were a few other options that were a little bit that um, were a bit unnecessary in my opinion however the app is very good when you get started and fill, fill in the information and I think it's a whole lot better than the self-harm tracker app when I tried out and so I think I will recommend the uh, this app as opposed to the self harm tracker one good thing I like about this app however is the combinations like you've got combinations with the alcohol like alcohol and cigarettes and alcohol and this and alcohol and that but I do admit that some of these things are very, very risky. Like the alcohol and cocaine and alcohol and ecstasy and that. Uh, so, so yeah, that is that. Alright then, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Just remember to, to stay careful out there, folks. And don't indulge in any of those things that you saw like the purging and and that and also the anorexia websites and and that the pro anna websites and that please don't go on those and 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 start purging and if you if you need any help there's always advice online like the samaritans and that and other people there. Alright then. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will see you soon.